For 13 years, the family of a quadruple murder prayed for answers. Who shot their loved ones and why? Little did they know the day after that prayer, their answers would come from behind this fence. And I remember asking her, I'm like, who are you? She said, I'm Kayla Brown. Kayla Brown, the name that had been plastered on posters as a missing person out of Anderson. Where Kayla Brown and Charlie Carver are. A name suddenly spoken by a girl found chained and locked inside a shipping container on 100 acres in Woodruff nearly three months later. You're sitting here going, did I just step into Hollywood on a movie set? A padlock chain around her neck, her ankles shackled together and chained to one end of the shipping container. She was given dog beds to lay on, a five gallon bucket for a bathroom and just pieces of crackers and moldy cheese that was all she had to eat. Todd Kohep shot Charlie Carver three times in the chest, wrapped him in a blue What heart, kind of monster of would do this? Something straight out of Hannibal Lecter. Uh, here's this girl chained up like a dog uh, in the back of a container. Suddenly, an investigation to find a missing couple is the key to unlocking so much more. Once we were in there and we realized the magnitude of what, started to realize the magnitude of what we were dealing with, yeah, it, it, it kind of hit home. As investigators were rushing Kayla to the hospital, a well-known real estate agent was being interviewed at his home in Moore. Hello. How you doing? Doing well. Oh, good. But the time that she spent with him and the rapport that in his mind they developed and the information that she gave initially on that recorded video, we wouldn't have known to ask some of the questions we did. Inside this disheveled bachelor pad, investigators began to break down the inconsistencies in Todd Kolhep's story. Like why was a couple from Anderson on his Woodruff property the day they were reported missing? And as Todd told his story, so did Kayla, giving investigators the very name they needed to crack a cold case. Kayla Brown said he told me he killed these people at a motorcycle shop. That sort of snowballing. Three days later, on the anniversary of four people being gunned down at the Superbike Motorsports, the answer those families had been waiting so long for finally came. We're trying to make sure um, that, you know, that we don't have a serial killer on our hands. This very possibly could be what we have. A serial killer in Spartanburg. A killer that would close a case. A killer that had walked among us for 13 years. Without her being a survivor, and her survival, this would not have made it to where it is. I think Kayla Brown was left alive um, for, for this reason, um, for this reason right here. Um, you know, how, how else do you explain it? Could one woman held prisoner for three months really hold the answers to three separate murder cases? That's what deputies would work to find out over the next few days, including discovering Todd Kolhep's chilling past, well before this property was ever a thought.